Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to give a big thank you to all the people who joined my Discord server, as well as playing a healthy amount of rounds of Smash Ultimate with me. It was a great time, and I seriously hope to play with you guys more in the future. And if you haven't yet, you can still join in on the fun too if you're a Smash player yourself. I met and fought some awesome players, and some of them gave me a really good beating. I'm looking at you, Mr. Game and Wah. So if you're interested, you can find the link to my Discord in the description below. I hope to see you there. There's also my Twitter account that I want to bring mention to. It's not much, but I post a lot of my game picks when I have the time and see if they can bring a smile to someone's face. I do post some odd pictures that many people may not like, I am aware, but some of them do hit the mark, and I'd be surprised with how many likes I got with it. It's crazy. I'm also going to be uploading my status quo in case something happens and alert when my videos are in near completion. I plan to do a lot more with the site in the future, but if you don't have a have or want a discord, you can follow my twitter page and request a match with me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Last thing, I just wanted to give a big big shout out to a certain someone named EZPZ. I was told he was a big fan of mine and I thought, why not? But instead of giving him a shout out, I'm going to give him a big why out. So, easy peasy, this is for you. Wow! <laughs> Thanks for being a fan and watching my videos. I hope your days will forever be rotten, and I wish the same for everyone else watching, of course. You guys are the best. But I kept you guys waiting long enough. Please enjoy the video. <laughs> Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Hyper Mario 24. Sorry to have kept you guys waiting, but it's finally time for the very first Q&A for this channel. And I'm really excited I get to answer your guys' questions. Now I just want to say these questions aren't in any specific order. I'm just going to be answering them out of random. Though I am going to be answering them based on where I got the questions from and how much there are. And I got a couple questions from my Discord server too. But I'm going to be starting with the YouTube questions first, since this is the site where I got the most questions from. And of course, I'm going to end it with answering the Discord questions too. So, with all that said, let's get this Q&A started. Alright, the first question I'm going to start with is one from Eden Ramos. Do you use a character in Smash that is not from Super Mario, Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Wario, etc.? Okay, if you're talking about competitively, like, using any other character that isn't from the Mario series, then... No. I've just been using Wario most of the time because he's my main man and I've been using him for years. And I really want to get better with him in Ultimate. And honestly, the other characters don't really spark my interest that much. Though, when I'm just playing for fun, I do on occasion like to switch it up a bit and see if any other characters really fit my playstyle. And I do have a little soft spot for some of these guys. I do love Snake, I love his projectiles. And uh, Bayonetta's pretty fun, she's just a little complicated for me. And I really starting to like Pac-Man. I mean, Pac-Man is just fun. I love his projectiles and pineapples and the fire hydrant. It's just really cool. But if I'm planning on main any of these guys in the future, it'll probably gonna be a long while before I do that because, you know, I'm just, I'm focusing on Wario. I wanna get better with him. But who knows? Thanks for the question, Eden. Alright, this next question comes from Josh. When did you first start YouTube, and why do you main Wario? I first started YouTube on October 25th, 2014. But the thing is, this isn't my first YouTube channel. This is actually my second. My first YouTube channel had the same name, but with a different image, and honestly, it isn't a YouTube channel. I made this channel just so I can upload clips I had made from Smash 4 because there was this feature where you can upload your replays to YouTube and during that time, I didn't have a gaming capture card to like record any videos or the software to edit them. So I kinda dropped this channel a while ago. You can still find it, but there's not much to see. But in 2016, my brother actually bought me an Elgato 60 HD capture card on my birthday and I was so psyched to use it right away. When I got the right programs and learned how to edit and record my videos, I decided to make a second channel to try and start over, and that's when I posted my first ever montage on YouTube, and the rest is history. Now, why do I main Wario? Is that even a question? Come on, man. 
Nah, on a serious note, I don't want to go into too much detail as to why I main him, because I'm saving most of those details in a future video I plan to make about him and Rosalina. But I will say this, he's a character that I didn't like at first, but ever since I tried him out in Brawl, he's been really fun to me, and I feel like he's a character with much potential, especially now in Ultimate, where I feel like he's been significantly improved. I really want to be one of the greatest warrior players in the world, and show people just how much of a threat he can be, but also a fun character I think everyone should at least try out. Thanks for the question, Josh. This question is from Jack Sparrow. This channel's super cool. What's your favorite Nintendo game ever made? Well, Jack Sparrow, I just want to say thank you for that lovely comment about my channel. I really do appreciate it. As for my favorite Nintendo game, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with Wario Land Shake It. And there are a lot of Nintendo games out there that I love, but this game is what got me hooked onto Wario and how I just felt drop dead in love with the guy. Wario himself, the art style, the gameplay, his abilities, and the music. Especially the music. This game has a fantastic soundtrack, and to this day, my favorite Wario soundtrack of all time. I also really love how Wario looks in this game, especially his idol animations. They just look so... Wario. His quotes too. Gosh darn I love his quotes. He only has two that you can hear at the start of a level, but they sound epic. My favorite one being... Rock and roll. I could go on and on with this game, but I've got more questions to answer. Jack Sparrow, thanks for the question. Sorry if I mispronounced this. Cass Banan asks, What country do you live in? I'm from the Netherlands, by the way. Wow, the Netherlands? That's crazy. I've always wanted to go there. I heard it's a great place to sightsee. But I live in the United States of America. Now, just in case you're wondering what kind of state I live in, well, that would be Florida. I was born and raised there, and I've had fond memories of the place ever since. I just wish the weather wouldn't hop up and down from time to time. Thanks for the question. Ollie618 asks, Who do you think is a better Wario player? Gluttony or Tweak? Honestly, that's a tough decision, because I think they're both amazing Wario players. But if I had to choose, I'm gonna have to go with Tweak on this one. Only because in the recent tournament events I've seen a Tweak, he's pulled off some amazing stunts with Wario that I didn't think you could do with him in Ultimate. He's tackled some top players like the Buzz and Nairo, and they're the best of the best. It really amazes me how Tweak controls Wario so well in this game, and it really inspires me to get better with my own Wario. Now I'm not saying Gluttony is a terrible player by any means, no, far from it. I still think he's one of the best, but Tweak's Wario just caught my eye with the recent videos I've seen of him, and I hope him and Gluttony continue to dominate the tournament scenes with Wario in the future, and I can't wait to see more of it. Thanks for the question, Ollie. Next question is from Ltrez3. What type of job do you do? Do you enjoy it? Uh, I work at a little pizza fast food place called Little Caesars. Uh, there's really not much to talk about. All I do is make dough, make the pizzas, and deliver them to the customer. That's pretty much it. I don't hate it. I do love the people I work with. They're really nice. But it's not something I'm willing to spend my entire life doing, you know? I do have bigger plans that going back to school and such, but it probably won't be for a while until I handle personal issues and stuff. But thanks for the question, Latrez, if I pronounced it right. Goofy Goober Toby, love that name by the way, ask, Congrats with 330 subs, my boy. Why is your channel named Hyper Mario 24 and not Hyper Wario 24? Oh my gosh, you would not believe how many times I've been asked this question. Alright, well, let me ask you guys this. Have you ever heard of sprite animations? Well, back in 2016, I was a big fan of Mario and Sonic sprite battles. I just loved how animated and chaotic the videos were with Mario and Sonic going head to head and using all sorts of special flashy moves to take each other down. It reminded me a lot of Dragon Ball Z, and I love Dragon Ball Z. But then there was this one animation where I see Mario and Sonic going against each other, and they both were in their super forms, which I thought was cool to see Mario having a fan-made super form, but then the two go ballistic and transform into their hyper forms. 
sporting rainbow colors that looked flipping cool to me. But when I saw Mario Swarm, I immediately fell in love with it, along with his transformation name, Hyper Mario. And that's where I got the idea to use a name for my YouTube channel, as well as my Nintendo ID. And I've been using that name ever since. Hyper Mario 24. Uh, the 24 meaning that I'm Hyper Mario 24-7. It sounded a lot cool to me in my head back then. Now I can always change it to Hyper Wario 24, but I'm really in love with my name, and I love how I can design it to look colorful and full of personality. And that's kind of the theme I want my channel to be known for, full of personality. And I really don't think I'll be changing it anytime soon. But thanks for the question, Toby. And the last question from my YouTube channel is from Luis Suia. Sorry if I mispronounced that. What's your opinion on Piranha Plant? He's broken. Nah, but seriously, I love Piranha Plant. I had my doubts at first, but I think he's an amazing addition to Smash Bros. roster. I just love all his moves, his spiked ball, the poison cloud, the one where he goes into his pot and flipping lashes at you from afar, and his final smash, PD Piranha. I never get sick of seeing this move. It's a great, awesome final smash. And I had fun playing as him with my Discord friends a few days ago, so who knows, I may think about maining Piranha Plant in the future, but all in all, I think he's a great addition. I love this plant. Hashtag plant gain. Alright, that's it for all the YouTube questions. Now it's time to move on to the Discord questions. And this first one is from EasyPZ. And he asks, What's the next project on the channel? Any plans to do another playthrough like you did with Mario Strikers Charged? Uh, nothing really too big or exciting. I am working on a new outro, but that won't come out until way later. Mostly I'm just more focused on just making videos and having fun with it and making sure my videos are entertaining for you guys. I do plan on making a playthrough soon of my favorite Nintendo game of all time. You guys already know, it's Wario Land Shake It. I really want to do a playthrough of that game. <laughs> Maybe sometime in the future, I don't know. But we'll just have to wait and see. But so far, nothing really too exciting. I'm just more focused on making more topic videos again. That's something I really want to do. I haven't done in a long time. And I have said before that I am planning on making a Wario and Rosalina video about themselves. And how they helped me make this channel and all. So that's pretty much it. But, you know, maybe something will come up in the future. I'll definitely let you guys know. But thanks for the question, easy peasy. Now this question comes from my two best buds online. And since they're both asking the same question, I'm going to be answering them both at the same time too. Is there any chance of me streaming in the future? I honestly would love to stream, but I don't think it'll be happening anytime soon until I get rid of that glitching problem. And you guys know what I'm talking about. If you see my Smash Ultimate Elite gameplay videos, You'll notice that in some parts of my video, it would glitch and even mute out my voice. And I don't want that to happen to me if I'm streaming. So until I figure out what's wrong with my capture card and figure out how to get rid of that glitching permanently, I'm not going to be streaming until then. I'm really sorry if this upsets some of you guys, but I really want to make sure that if I stream, it will stream good. It's already bad enough that I gotta upload some of my videos with that glitching problem. And I really appreciate some of you guys that don't mind it, but, you know, I don't want that to happen to me during that stream. So, I hope you guys understand. But thanks for the question, you guys. And at last, the final question of the day comes from my man, Mr. Cake. What's your favorite Wario theme slash song? Now, I've already explained this in one of my old, old videos. But my favorite Wario theme song of all time is Mount Lava Lava. I do like a lot of other Wario songs, but this one just sticks out to me the most. It just has that guitarist theme going on about it, and I really love that about this song. I don't even know why I had to explain why it's awesome, just listen to it for yourself. Honestly, I could listen to this song for hours. It's just so darn good. I really recommend you guys check out the entire Wario Land Shake It soundtrack. It's got some amazing stuff, I promise you that. But 
Thanks for the question, Mr. Cake. And that's it. We are done. Thank you guys so much for your questions. I had a really fun time answering them. And I want to apologize for this video coming out a little late. It was supposed to come out at the end of the week, but <laughs> my video software kind of messed up during half of the video and I had to reduce some of the parts. It was really stressful, I'm not going to lie, but I managed to do it, I finished it, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And there'll be more Q&A videos as my channel grows in the future, so look forward to it. But that's it for me, guys. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic rotten day. And I hope to see you all in the next video. So stay safe. And as always, peace.